and topped off with a graveyard and topped off with a grave. <laughs> Welcome to Miss Journey Treats. I'm Logan, and today we are making these graveyard pudding cups as part three of our Halloween treat lineup. Logan with me. Today is the third treat of our four treat lineup. Today we are layering chocolate pudding and Oreo cookie crumbs and then topping it off with a graveyard scene that's both spooky and fun. To begin we need to make the edible dirt so we are removing the filling from each cookie and then placing the cookies into a large freezer bag. Once all the cookies have been scraped I took a rolling pin and beat the cookies into crumbs. I left some crumbs larger to fill the layer of dirt in between the layer of pudding more efficiently and to give a nice crunch when you scoop in for a bite. To make the pudding we are using this Jello brand but any brand will work. I emptied the mix into a medium bowl, poured in the milk and mixed for about two minutes with a whisk until set. We found these cute little dessert cups at Walmart on clearance. They were a last minute find, but you can find something similar online. I would recommend all clear so that you can really see the layers beneath the top layer of the grave. We used a decorating bag to pipe out the pudding layer for more control, but a spoon will work just fine. After the first layer, we tapped the cup on the counter to level it out and then added the layer of cookies, crumbs. This layer is about an inch thick. Next we squeezed out the last pudding layer on top and smoothed it out with a butter knife. Using this graveyard candy kit we found at Walmart, we wrote some clever headstone names we found online. There are some really good ones on there. We got quite the kick out of them. Moving into the graves, we carefully spooned the tiniest of crumbs along the top and placed the headstone at the top. For a little added creepiness, we scatter the bloody bones along the top of the grave. Finally using this decorating icing fitted with the grass tip, we dropped little patches of grass around the edges of the cup and the grave and that's it. Here are our graveyard pudding cups that we made today. These are so easy to make and even more fun to eat. We hope you like this tutorial, and if so, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as we make a new video every month. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time when we make another trendy treat together. Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween.